Hi, in this class, we will learn about massive MIMO. MIMO is multiple input, multiple output technology. So, we have a conventional MIMO technology. And this conventional MIMO technologies is we have used in the previous 4G generations. Now we have another MIMO which is known as MUMIMO, where MU is multi user MIMO, which I can say it is multi user, multiple input, and multiple output. Now, multi user MIMO that means MUMO has big advantages over conventional MIMO. So, this one that means multi user MIMO has more advantages comparative to conventional MIMO technology because this multi user MIMO works with cheap single antenna system. So, it works with cheap single. As they are working with cheap sing single antenna terminals. So cheap and single antenna terminal which creates a rich scattering environment. So, this single antenna system, cheap and single antenna system, those who create a rich scattering environment, which is we don't require. That means if we are using multi user MIMO or conventional MIMO technology in which single antenna system which are creating a scattering environment, so we don't require, that means we don't require in massive MIMO these effects of multi user MIMO or conventional MIMO. But in this, that means multiple input, multiple output, we have a resource allocation and which is a simplified process because every terminal utilizes all the frequency bits. So I can say with the help of multi-user, we have a resource allocation and this allocation of resources is simplified. So we have a simplified resource allocation because so why we have simplified because every bits in this every active terminal each and every active terminal utilizes all the frequency bits so they are utilizes all frequency bits. So this is the main fundamental that with the help of MIMO technology we have a simplified resource allocation in which we are using our bits, our terminals, those who are consuming or utilizing all the bits, all the frequency bits. So in multi-user MIMO that means MU MIMO multi-user, multiple input, multiple output, we have equal number of service antennas and terminals. So we have equal number of service antennas so equal number of service so I can say that if they are having equal number of service antennas and terminals, so this is not a scalable technology. So this is my multi-user MIMO in which we are using same equal terminals and service antennas. So this is not a scalable technology.
Now we have another technology which I can say which is my massive MIMO. Or we name it as large scale antenna systems. Massive MIMO, large scale antenna system, very large MIMO. Very large MIMO, we have a hyper MIMO. Or also we name it as full dimensional MIMO. So these are, that means from massive MIMOs, we have large scale antenna systems. Now we are focusing toward very large MIMO, hyper MIMO and even full dimensional MIMO. Now what is there in massive MIMO or large scale antenna system that we are having ex extra antennas to help. So we have, we require extra antennas. So question, why we require extra antenna to help focusing? Because my main aim is to focus, so to help focusing energy into, so what we require to focus? Energy. So where we require to focus energy? We require extra antenna to help focusing of energy into smaller regions of space. So energy into smaller regions of space. So what we require in massive MIMO, we require large antenna system or extra antennas to focus energy in smaller regions of space. So why we require to focus energy in smaller regions of space to bring. Now what to bring? To bring improvement or even I can say huge improvement in So we require huge improvement in throughput so we have huge improvement and in throughput and radiated energy efficiency throughput and radiated energy efficiency So, this is what MIMO wants, massive MIMO wants that keep on adding extra antennas to focus in, in, into smaller regions of space so that we can bring huge improvement in throughput and energy efficiency. Now with this massive MIMO, we have extensive use of inexpensive low power consumption equipments. So we have, I will write extensive use of inexpensive, extensive use of inexpensive low power components. So we require in our system low power components whether we can use, we can increase the number but we can reduce the power. So we require extensive use of inexpensive low power components. Then we require reduced latency.
first reduced latency and then we require simplification of MAC layer. This MAC layer is a medium axis control layer so we require simplification of this layer. Now we have a challenge to achieve massive MIMO. So what is the challenge? Now comes the challenges. So first challenge is to make low power, low precision components. So we have making of low cost, low precision, low cost and low precision components. As being the very first challenge is to make low power and low precision components that works effectively. So this become the first channel. Then if we are adding a number of terminals together, so it is very important to have a synchronization. So what we require, we require synchronization of, of terminals. as being my second challenge now and then we require reduction in internal power consumption So this is my challenge that we require to make low power and low precision components Then we require synchronization and we also require to reduction in internal power consumption. So this is a challenge of MIMO technology or massive MIMO technology. So as From MU MIMO, that means from multi user, multiple input, multiple live output, we are going large. Going large towards massive MIMO. So we will feel, fulfill the challenges of energy and total equipment and then we have a concept of going large which is a massive MIMO and this massive MIMO becomes the emerging technology so we want to make it as emerging technology with scales of MIMO now this technology is going to scale up MIMO by possible orders of magnitude. So this is my massive MIMO concept that we are going large from multi-user MIMO to have which is scales up MIMO by magnitude and we are emerging, it is a emerging technology. Now, we, what we are going to change in this, so we are going to make antenna arrays. So what we are, we are going to make antenna array with few hundred antennas. So we are making 
a new antenna array with few hundred antenna simultaneously now here is the word simultaneously which is simultaneously serving many hundreds of terminals many tens of terminals so they are increasing the terminals in same frequency resource so i will write here a point that it will increase antenna array we require to add on few hundred antennas and those few hundred antennas will simultaneously serving tens of terminals in the same frequency resource so this is i can set now messi mimo is enabler for development of so we can say that this technology is a development of fixed as well as broadband networks so with the help of messi mimo we can achieve the desired speed of 5g as it is a enabler of services that will be energy efficient so this messi mimo will be my energy efficient which we required that my system should be energy efficient and spectrum efficient so we require the system should be energy efficient and spectrum efficient so messi mimo will provide me energy efficiency as well as spectrum efficiency and it is a enabler of future wireless technologies or i can say that with the help of this we can achieve the services which we required in 5g that means internet of things clouds networking infrastructures etc so this is our concept related to antenna system which is a massive mimo this is all for today we will continue with massive mimo in our next class thank you so much